you hear me? Okay, so, um, I am not an amazing public speaker, unfortunately. Yes, you uh, are. We love you, Carmen. <laughs> but, um, one of my tasks as a movement builder and one of my, what I've always felt is my place in this world is to bring uh, visibility to that which is often invisible. Um, so while we gather here in public today to celebrate community, to celebrate public space, to celebrate uh, really universal love for all humanity on some level, um, even Scott Wiener maybe, I don't know, um, uh, in a cosmic sense. Um, one thing that we often leave out of the celebration is the folks who can't make it for different reasons. Um, and so right now we're taking space in the name of uh, people who have lived on the streets. And realistically speaking, a lot of them can't be here with us right now. Um, folks who have died of HIV and AIDS over the years, uh, whose imprint um, as a very small child growing up around this area. I actually remember watching that, and I know a lot of you here uh, were adults and integrally involved in that struggle. Um, folks of color often get left out of social justice movements. Um, and behind me is a sign that has both the symbol of um, what we call woman and the symbol of the transgender people. Um, and so I want to say today that in the spirit of unity, um, that a, a whole circle has all of its people. Um, I could maybe stand a date correction on this, but when we talk about LGBT and when we talk about queer, um, it's important to remember that a T is a very strong, integral, um, and backbone part of this movement. In fact, um, the Stonewall rights, which are the benchmark often of what we call LGBT history, were not the first queer rights. It was uh, arguably, um, across the history of time, because there's probably many riots and many insurrections, but it was the Compton, Compton's Cafeteria Riots in uh, 1960 something, early 60s. 66. 66. Was there? In LA. In LA. Compton's here in San Francisco was um, the, it was many different things, but it was the revolution of transgender women standing up against oppression. Um, and so when we talk about community and when we talk about LGBT, um, it's important to have all of our brothers and sisters in mind, right? That we are all unified under the same umbrella, but that some of us have to work extra hard to get coverage, so to speak. And so um, I would encourage folks to go on Facebook and look into all the transgender activism that's happening this week. Um, and that's it. Next.